Now, let me ask you a question here. Do you prefer electric cars or gas-powered cars? Well, if you do prefer gas-powered cars, it seems like you're not alone. Uh, in fact, far from it because apparently EV demand is waning. I spoke to expert and founder of Car Coach Reports. Uh, let's hear what she told me. Lauren, thank you very much for your time today. Let's start with Tesla. We just had its earnings report yesterday. How are we looking here? Well, Tesla's in a little bit of trouble. They haven't had sales this soft since 2020. So now we're in an interesting situation. The last quarter, BYD, which is a Chinese car manufacturer, they were number one globally in sales. Now they're number two. Tesla has retaken it, which tells me that electric vehicle sales as a whole has softened. But we're down about 9% from what expectations were. And so that's not good. And part of that is because vehicles haven't been updated, like other car brands, such as like Ford, GM, you know, Stellantis. When they redo their cars every few years, you see changes. Tesla seems to look the same. It's like an old Taurus. It just sort of looks the same. Uh, that's hurt them a little bit, as well as Cybertruck sales are still on the soft side. So the early adapters got one that they wanted, but now their sales have got very soft. So these uh, weak sales, uh, do, you, do you believe this is an outlier or perhaps it is, in fact, a part of a bigger trend? What do you think? Well, Tesla's still number one and, and leading the pack when it comes to electric vehicles. So a lot of people look at him as a tech company. They don't look at him as a car company. Uh, there are still a lot of enthusiasts that love his product and what he offers. But overall, electric vehicle sales are very soft. The problem is, is that customers are starting to wake up to the fact that they need to get a charging station at their home. It's not charging quick enough. They like that freedom to be able to fill up with fuel and go on their way. So people have found that happy medium, which is hybrids. So the hybrid market of SUVs and crossovers have been booming. They're up about 30%. That's a big growth number in the last quarter. And you're starting to see car manufacturers such as Hyundai and Ford for their 24 and 25 models saying, we're not going to offer electric. We're going to offer a hybrid option and a gas option. And that is what consumers want. And that's where the free market really does have the power. Do you think this uh, weaker demand, do you think uh, this is going to get worse or are we going to turn back up? Well, it all depends on the elections and what happens in November. Um, if the current administration returns to power, they're going to put the foot down on the gas pedal or the electric gas pedal uh, and mandate electric cars, make, making the ownership of gasoline-powered cars more expensive, more difficult, uh, forcing you to make a change. Uh, a lot of people will keep their vehicles and cause used car prices to increase. Uh, if President Trump gets reelected, uh, we already know what he said he's going to do. So we're going based off of that. He says he's going to eliminate the mandate and allow people to have choices. And if he says drill, baby, drill, that means gas prices drop. Consumers make choices. And maybe just one more question. And I don't really know what to think about this. Maybe you can uh, tell me, are electric vehicles better for the environment than gas vehicles? Uh, some people say that the pro production process that goes into electric vehicles is not that good. W w tell us, what, what, what is it? Well, it's funny. I, I just literally pulled up some interesting information. Uh, the electric vehicle battery, what's involved in it, there's 12 tons of rock for lithium. That's how much drilling they have to do. That's a lot of use of gasoline-powered vehicles in order to do that. They're not using electric-powered diggers to do this. Five tons of cobalt materials, three tons of mineral for nickel, 12 tons for copper and ore. And then when you look at the 250 tons of soil that's needed to obtain lithium, nickel, manganese, cobalt, um, uh, aluminum, and all the plastics and steel, it is not better for the environment. Uh, basically, the equipment that's needed, this is far from a zero emissions car. If you call, we call in our industry cradle to grave, all the raw materials to the end of life and what's recyclable and not recyclable versus today's current gasoline powered vehicles. And you start looking at it, people are starting to turn back to the gasoline powered vehicles. They get better fuel economy or a hybrid like a Toyota Prius, they get you know, 56 miles to the gallon it's probably a better option in, in the bigger picture. Well, maybe it is good for the U.S. in terms of environment because uh, these, uh, these parts are not actually made in the country. Uh, but thank you very much today, Lauren, for your insight. Pleasure having you on. Thank you.